Bernard McDonough, known as the Fall. I met a watch shop the other day in Knock, telling the whole country, the whole truth, swore to Knock shrine like that. Right. So when I got home from Ireland, I landed early hours this morning. Copper Sam's wife Bridget and her son Pat at two WhatsApps met. Right? My sister Mary's name was mentioned in one about 14 years ago at Lord Merson when Benny Hill was dead. That was wrong. That's one thing was wrong. Me, me and my sister Mary had everything made up since that. Now that was never mentioned anymore. With the issues that we had down in London, forever happened was nothing whatsoever got to do with you, Bridget. Right, now, I must tell you, right, you just said in knock, today I was in knock, that I told lies and I took the Bible in knock. I didn't take a Bible in knock, because there was no woman there with me for to take a Bible. The other third party hadn't been there. What I did say on the day in knock, I gave you my telephone number which I have for the last 17 or 18 years, and I put it in the phone that I had waited around knock. If Tom rung me and he got to prove the command, I would have took the Bible and knock. And I had a couple of small young lads with me, and I put them under the priest. So I didn't say anything about your son Tom, the Lord of mercy in him, and all the dead. Now, where you're talking it wrong, Bridget, and Pat, I must tell you, right? On the night of son Tom, forever, Tom, happened on the night, right? I didn't get any phone call on that night. And I swear to my mother, dear Lord, right? I didn't get any phone call. I never left my phone on at night. Shoulders, sure, Lord of them knows that. I never left my phone at night. But in the morning, when I turned on my phone, I had the same number for the last seven or eighteen years, right? I never changed the number. It's the same number the whole time. The man that rung me in the morning was my brother Michael. And he said to me, did you hear what happened to the gold fella last night? So I know. He, he said he was struck with a hatchet in the head. The Lord of mercy and all the dead, right? So I never heard it. Now, Bridget, you said in the WhatsApp that you met that I said the word when your son Tom was fighting on his bed on the night. Somebody phoned me that night and I was supposed to say the word that you were saying. The next, that I got that phone call. He was supposed to fight for his life. And the next one I'd get you said that I'd hear that he'd been dead. Right? Now, that's all wrong. You should know yourself. Was it that night that Lord Emerson, your son Tom, died? Or was it in the morning? Because Miss Brother's sheriff has to tell you the truth. He cannot tell you a lie. Right? It was in the morning that he phoned me. Now, he also told me about, your, uh, about Tom, about the bang of the hatchet. And he also mentioned short. Sure, that short said that you joined up to such and such. And I told him that I didn't. Well, he said, it's all going around, he said that you did. So I tell short say that I didn't. There was a number dropped off in Castle Bar that I never made no contact. And that I may be killed like my brother only. And I swear to my poor mother in heaven and that. I never wrung pockets for the number. Right? Pockets is my other brother. He knows that if I made any contact of the number or not. And he has to tell the truth. Right? Did I ring him or not for the number? I didn't ring him for the number. Now, you're saying the person, Bridget, that rung you that night, this is giving you bother. Right? You're, you're, and you're believing that I said. I was on the time a lack of weeks ago about your son saying that I could have fallen and I could have died. No one in your family never cut me off. From, from Tad said, telling me yesterday in the WhatsApp, him and Tom bit me in the hood to get me. They cut me in bits. I even see that. I would bruise to my face and I would bruise to my face.
the man here. Right. You still didn't run me, if you remember, on the night. Do you remember that? I went still wet for the funeral next morning in Ballymore. The mass, I think, was in October, and we went down to Ballymore to the funeral. Right. Now, Tom, you caught me. Pat, you caught me. You say, Pat, you caught me. Pig swell good. Now, this is my mother. That I don't the country was walking, begging, selling buckets and selling saucepan. She wasn't a steel. They cost the day. She was very good and honest. She wasn't a steel. Now, you caught me a lot of names yesterday. That's nothing wonder to ye. Has she did tell, tell ye a few years ago on a phone call to one of your uncles about all the names you was be calling her when she was only about 15 years of age and all the scandal that you was to be giving her. Right. And get my father to bear her over it. Right. Now remember that. Right? Now, any name that you called me yesterday, I won't call you any back for it. Right? Now, she's my mother. And she reared seven in her house. And no one of us had no pigs or no animal bellies. Remember that one. Right. Now, she, she reared me. She reared me, and I swear to her, and I swear to my mother in heaven, she reared me with good guts, with very, very good guts. And a fella could go out and do that for himself. A fella could go out and do that, and let no fella up here, and no fella down here. And don't be saying all your life, I am bullying ye. I was with the J George Ice. Paddy Jays, boxing ye, and in cabin, and all over the country. And not only ye that are boxed. Not only ye. I box different people, and better people than ye. And bet them. I swear to my poor mother in heaven. I wasn't a fool for no one. And I'm going to tell you that in that. And I swear to my mother there. And then I told you in that. I told you the truth. And my best opinion to you, Bridget. Whoever told you, if there's any number in my family about the phone call that I got, is you said, and I said it the next, the, I got the first phone call, and the next one I'd get that I'm here, that I'm here, your son Tabitha said, that's a load of crap and a load of life. Bring that person to me. Bring that person, and if he's afraid of me, tell him ring up. Bring a, ring up young George Joyce or ring up Anna McGindley or Big Patrick McGindley and they won't be afraid to go with them men and I'll go with them and I'll prove it and I'll let one of my children under the priest's knees and I never said that word and I swear to my mother and that and I, and I swear to them in heaven that I never ever ever said anything like that about you and I swear to my poor mother in heaven and I did tell Tom that when back in like a week ago I was talking in the front of him and I never said that and I I don't, I won't call you Pat, and I'm not worried, I won't call you out your name, and you and, and you say you die beside shoulders, fair play to you, fair play to you, and remember, if you're saying you bet me and you cut me up in tubber, and I still went for the funeral, and I wasn't afraid of you, if that was you in Castle Bear, you'd be trying to get out of Castle Bear, and you'd be going up one more system, and you wouldn't know where you'd be going to get out of town, you wouldn't get out quick enough, and now you're done, and I'm telling you the truth, and I swear to my mother in heaven, all you're doing is getting your own family, Scrappers Tom's family, in trouble. In trouble. And, and Scrappers Michael in trouble. What names did, and what names, you're talking about Bridge of Upinny Hill, Lord of Mercy, I was supposed to say in London to my sister Mary. Right. And I'm wondering, my sister Mary, didn't get back onto you, and Honeybee talking about him in cabin, and any other people that you're talking about. What names did you call Scrappers Mike's poor children that's in the graveyard in Ballymore? Just, just think of yourself. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. So when you're talking about my brother-in-law, I talk about your brother-in-law. If you remember yesterday, you were talking about Benny Hill. Me and Benny Hill was like that. And if anybody wants to find forgiveness, you yourself, not me. Not me. The people is baiting ye. They're not baiting me. 
has been the hands of Almighty God from that. And up by the hound at any time, where I was born and where I'm going to be buried, up me, oh, and up by the hounds. I love by the hounds. I'm not a castle bear man. I'm a proper, proper by the hounds man. And I was born, where I was born by the hounds. You can see my head's turn up that way. And that's where I'm going to be buried. And I'll have a good funeral as well when I die. Whenever it be, it is a hundred year, and it is the Mary and I'm worried about. And good luck to you now, and I've not necessarily. And I won't call you any names. I'll leave you the way you are. Right, good luck.